Hi everyone, I'm Jimmy Ling and in this video, I'm going to share our teaching methods and how to help your child in math. I'm also going to share some important steps to take for breakthrough improvements. In case you have not heard about me, that's me, the guy in the middle. I'm the founder of JimmyMaths.com, which is an online website to learn mathematics for primary and secondary school. I'm also one of the directors of a Great Solution Learning Center, which is a tuition center in Singapore. Many people think that I look like the Korean running man Yuzi Suk. Right, that's what I heard after when I was teaching in a local polytechnic. When I first stepped in the classroom, all the students are very amazed when they saw me because they thought that I was some Korean star. But I guess they were all very disappointed after they hear my voice. I graduated with a math degree from NUS. I was very fortunate to meet quite a number of good mentors in my life who teach me how to learn math. And that's why I actually created a jimmymaths.com and a great solution with my partner right, to impart how I learn mathematics to the students. I have more than 10 years of teaching experience in mathematics. I'm a strong believer that with the right coaching, with understanding your concepts, and with sufficient practice, any students will be able to master mathematics. And in my free time, I publish five books. Right, these are the books which are written. Right, most of the books can be downloaded for free on our website. Uh, this assessment book is only available to our students, while these uh, PSLE maths specimen papers is available in any of the nearest popular bookstore. And yep. That's what I do during my free time, and that's why they're saying that you can't kill a math teacher because he has no life. Alright, I'm just going to share with you three steps to solve any math questions. Right, the first step to solving any math question is to extract the keywords. Right, because without actually understanding what are the keywords, your child will not be able to understand what is the question asking for, and hence you will not be able to know what method to apply. Right, so this is a very important step, which is to understand the keywords and understand what the question is asking about. And from there, your child will be able to link to the right concept. Okay, a concept is basically an idea on what method to apply to solve the question. And after linking the right concept, your child should know how to apply the concept correctly in order to solve the question. Alright, so basically, there are no secrets behind scoring well in mathematics. Here are just three steps to solve any math questions. Right, the first step is to extract the keywords, then link the right concept, then apply the concept correctly. Alright, so why are concepts so important? Okay, a concepts basically tell your child which method or tool to apply. Okay, I know some schools or tuition center, they actually only teach the child one method or universal method to, to use for solving all types of uh, math problems. But for us, we don't believe that that's possible. We believe that every question will actually require a different tool or method to apply. And that's why we actually teach your child all the different concepts, so your child will know which method to apply. Alright, so for example, if your child only know one method, which is, uh, let's say, algebra, right, it means that your child only has one hammer, and it's expected to solve all the problems in the house. Right, do you think that's possible? We don't think so, okay? So that's why we actually expose your child to all these concepts, so your child will know which method to apply during exams. Alright, so here are some of the master concepts for PSLE math. We have a repeated identity, remainder, working backwards, constant part total difference, units and parts, grouping, gain and difference, access and shortage, etc. And here are only some of the concepts. They are actually more than that. And each concept will actually tell your child a specific method to apply to solve the question. Okay, just like this uh, lighthouse over here. Right, imagine that your child doesn't know the concept that the question is testing on. Your child will be lost in the seas, right, with no idea of which direction to go. Okay, but with the concept in mind, right, the concept will actually shine a light in your child's mind and let your child have a clear direction on where to go. 
Okay, so let me share with you the four stages of learning so that you have a clear idea on what action step to take after watching this video. The first stage is what we call the unconscious incompetence. Right, this is the stage where your child don't know what he doesn't know. All right, uh, that means that when you ask your child a question, your child just stab you a blank face right, because he doesn't even know what question to ask you. Okay, and this is a part where students are getting uh, less than 40 marks. If your child is in this uh, region, right, just focus on uh, building up the foundation and building confidence by focusing on those uh, MCQ and uh, one-step problem sums. Okay, do not focus on those uh, multi-steps, long questions first, right, because your child is to learn how to extract the keywords and understand the question first. Okay, then the next stage is what we call the conscious incompetence, right? This is when your child is getting uh, between 40 to 60 marks. And this is the part where your child really know why you don't know. Okay, that's good news because he know what question to ask you because he doesn't know. Right, if your child is in this stage, your child can start to practice more problems that are linked to concepts and know how to apply them correctly. Okay, then from here, your child will be able to go to the third stage where we call this the conscious competence. And this is a stage where your child knows about it, but still think about it. Okay, your child still needs some time to think about it. And this is a part where students are getting between 60 to 80 marks. And if your child is in this stage, right, your child has a pretty good foundation. And now is the time to focus on solving more challenging work problems. Okay, then from there, your child will be able to get into the unconscious competence. This is where your child knows so well that he doesn't even have to think about it. He just looks at the question and he will know exactly which concept and which method to apply. Alright, so if your child is in this region, which is above 80 marks, keep it up. Just focus on solving those challenging problem sums and your child should be able to score A star for his PSLE. Alright, so from here to here, right, your child is going to make a lot of mistakes. Your child is going to face a lot of confusion and that's what we're here for. We are here to shorten your child's learning journey right, so that your child will have an easier time reaching from here all the way to here. And how do we do that? Alright, let me share with you our team under Great Solution. We have about 30 staff under us and we hire the NIE certified teachers and full-time tutors. Right, we do not just hire anyone off the streets. We have a team of professional curriculum writers who help us to actually look through all the past year papers and look out for the latest exam trends. In case you are not aware, there's always a certain type of popular question that always come out in the school exams. And that's why we actually have a team that help us to update all our materials to ensure that they actually reflect the latest exam trends. And all our staff with the undergo application tests, mock lessons and interview are monitored during a probation period. And we always provide training and have a culture of constant improvements. And by the way, right, that's my partner Jerry, right, he's in charge of English and Creative IT in our center. And behind us is all our team of curriculum writers and full-time tutors. And a quick introduction about ourselves, all right, at Great Solution, we opened our first branch at Coven all the way in 2012. Then we opened our second branch at Bugis in 2017. And in 2019, we opened our third branch at Clementi. All right, and these are some of our affiliate websites, right? Writingsummary.com is run by my partner, Jerry, right? Which offer creative writing and English courses. Jimmy Max is run by me. And sciencefood.com is run by my brother over here. And by the way, okay, he's my real brother, okay? Not those uh, bro bro type, huh? All right, so in case you are keen in... Uh, enrolling your child in our weekly classes. All right, let me share with you our teaching methods. The first stage of our teaching method is called the knowledge acquisition, right? This is where we actually simplify concepts to the most simplified version possible, right? So that your child will be able to understand and apply them. And how we simplify concepts is through keywords, right? We will teach your child to spot keywords. And from the keywords, we will teach your child to link to the right concepts. 
Then as I mentioned earlier on, right, we do concept-based teaching. Right, we actually teach your child how to apply the concept to solve the questions. And after that, we we'll go to techniques proficiency, right, where this is where we actually give your child enough practice. And our worksheets are based on concepts, right? We do not base our worksheet based on chapters. The reason is because if you look at all your past year papers, the problem sums are always testing a certain concept. Okay, so for example, one problem sum can be testing on working backwards, while another question can be testing on uh, units and parts. Okay, so they do not just uh, base one problem sum on a certain topic, like percentage or fraction. Okay, then from here, we reinforce the concepts. Right, and by reinforcing, we do not just make your child practice worksheets and again and again, right, because that's very boring. Right, in our classes, we actually have a quizzes and games. Okay, because we believe that with the right motivation, right, your child will be more motivated to do maths questions. And after reinforcing, right, we we'll go to the application phase. Right, this is where we actually show your child the inversion method where we show your child the mistakes made by other students and teach your child to avoid them. And of course, we also have a hybrid questions. There are hybrid questions are the four and five marks questions in paper two that consists of multiple concepts in one question. Okay, then from there, we'll go in a cycle until your child has reached mastery of every concept. So after understanding our teaching methods, you may be wondering, how did our students do? Well, let me share with you some uh, case study. Right, this girl, Rochelle, joined our maths class in uh, P5. I said, in SA2, she actually scored 75. And after she joined our class, right, her grades jumped from 88.5 in SA1, right, gradually to 96.5 in SA1 for P6. And a little bit background about her. Right, the mom has been teaching her maths since a P1. And when, in P, when it comes to P5, her child always have a difficulty getting a breakthrough to get to the 80 and 90 marks region. And when I taught her, I finally found a reason why is because the methods which her mom teach her are actually not the methods that she learned in school. All right, so in our classes, we actually teach her using the methods that she learned in school. And that's why she's able to apply them to score such marks in the exams. And in case you're wondering, right, do we just teach all the high-performing students? Okay, no, okay? Let me share with you another of our students, Natalie. When she joined us, right, her SA1 is only 23.5. And after helping her for a few months, right, from SA1 to SA2, her marks shot out of 68, which is a more than a 40 marks increase. And how do we do that? Right, as I mentioned early on, right, because uh, her foundation is pretty weak, so we focus on building up our foundations, right, by exposing her to more short problem sums and short questions. Okay, then we also teach you how to understand the keywords. And from there, we will teach you how to apply the concepts to solve the question. All right, so these are just some of the case studies that I'll be sharing. You can view more of the case studies at Jimmy Matt's uh, Facebook page. Right, we have a lot more there. And that's it. That's all I want to share about our teaching methods and how we can help a child. If you have any questions, feel free to share with us and we look forward to teaching your child one day.